I got a hundred bucks here. It says you cannot hit it. You reckon you can handle this thing? Are you serious? Awesome! Awesome! Let's not tell your mom about this. Um, I saw the movie last night, and I have to admit, it looked like a hard day at the office for you. Mm -hmm. Catherine, Judy, Jessica, Ferraris. You had a rough gig. I'm glad you appreciate that. Because yeah. you know, other people are saying, that looked like a lot of fun being <laughs> with all those beautiful women. But I, and driving a Ferrari and playing soccer. Mm -hmm. But no, it was really hard. It's not easy having to fight off the advances of such beautiful, sexy women. And then to jump in a Ferrari and get yeah. to speed around racetracks and play soccer. Yeah. That's hard work. It's a rough life you have. Yeah. 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 I mean, did you did you have to train specifically to have those, you know, those scenes and to learn how to maneuver a Ferrari in the most proper of ways? No, I, what I had to train at more than anything was to fight off the advances of females because I'm not used to fighting them off. Really? <laughs> Somebody tells me you have some experience with that. Uh, no, I'm used to going, oh, all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> such um, is life when you're Gerard yeah, Butler. Tell yeah. me about that though. Was it just such a blast? All these beautiful women and great cars and, and the set was so beautiful. Yeah, you know what? I love this script. I love the idea of this story mm -hmm. because it's very, very funny. And it's it, there's something really kind of touching about this second chance in life and trying to make something of yourself and yet being in this impossible situation where everybody, they all want their own thing as well. They all want a piece of you. You're just trying to do the right thing, you know? And, 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 and in this environment, you know, where there's kids playing soccer, I'm coaching them, horny, weird, wacky mothers, um, and, and you know, and, and, and racing around tracks and Ferrari. Yeah, it was, there was a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to get into as an audience. But as an actor, I had a blast, you know, we shot in beautiful locations yeah. and, and uh, no, I just, I had a great time doing this. It seemed and like a it. A great cast as well. Yes. Now, you had to train for two different roles in this movie, to be a sportscaster and to be a soccer star. So was it like you had Beckham uh, rehearsals on Monday and then you had Stuart Scott on Wednesday? I mean, what was the training like for that? Which was maybe harder? Um, no, the the sports cast the sports cast thing, you know what was interesting is I'm developing as the movie goes along. Mm -hmm. So I actually started learning during the movie because I wanted to be not so great at the beginning because I'm kind of trying to do it and I'm not Quite fantastic. There. And then as the movie goes along, I get better and better. But um, but the soccer I really started two or three months before. Really? Because, oh yeah, yeah. Because you know you're trying to. That's the problem. He's bloody acting gigs is you know when you when you when you have to be somebody they very rarely say we want you to be a warrior but you were just quite a good warrior you weren't the best you know it's like you want you to be a you know an ex-professional soccer player but you were amazing right uh, uh, so get amazing and it's like like that when you be a singer you know but you were just a half decent singer no it's always you got to be really good so it takes a bit of work and um, so I, I did a, a lot of training for that it came off really well um, and in the movie Noah, he is your biggest fan, your unconditional support, even at the worst of times. Is there someone like that in your life that you can always count on, that always has supported you throughout your endeavors? Yeah, there's, I've got a couple of people like that in my life who, you know, no matter how much you screw them up, they're just there for you. And you go, they, they make you on the one hand feel very loved and supported. And on the other hand, you go, I'm a dick. <laughs> Just plain and simple. Just plain and simple. But they Everything. love you and that's why they count, right? Yeah, yeah. And I have a little pug. And and the pug, I hate to say it, but the way you describe Noah as well, I'm like, that's like my little pug. Oh, yeah. Just your biggest fan, you know, and they love you and adore you no matter no matter what you do. That's a couple that can really talk. I don't think he's the groom. Cannot hit it. Do you reckon you can handle this thing? Are you serious? Awesome! Awesome! Let's not tell your mom about this.